Hello, hello. Welcome Shading Way. I'm Marilyn and today we have something a little different. I thought I would do a review of how the um, uh, nails uh, strips that I've been wearing wear. Okay, because actually what happened was I thought I would try these. I don't get to um, the salon as much as I used to. Um, I used to, when I was a real estate agent, um, go every two weeks. However, uh, now that I'm not doing real estate and the person who was doing my nails was an individual who had her own place um, inside another salon and she retired. So I don't go for mani petties anymore because around my area, mainly the um, nail salons are big and I don't like those. I like a more intimate um, uh, manicure. So um, I thought I would try these. And as you know, I normally do jewelry. So this is completely off my normal. But I wanted to show you what I had, um, what I was wearing. Um, so this is currently what uh, my nails look like. And these are extremely grown out. And the reason for that is we had the two hurricanes. Um, we had a lot of issues with loss of power. Um, I just uh, damage, so I didn't get um, into a routine because these are only the second time I'm wearing these. These are actually, let me count. Um, these are 16 days of wear, so not bad. They're not lifting at all. The only thing I have is in a lot of nail growth. Um, so these need to be changed. Um, and what I have is I have two different types of, or, or brands, should I say, um, that I have on here. I have, um, the, um, pink, solid pink is Ohora and the, all the other ones are Dashing Diva. Okay. And the difference is I would say. The Dashing Diva are very thin, so when they grow out, you don't have um, a huge amount of, um, like, that lift. Where these are the um, Dashing Diva, and those are thicker, so I think you notice them more. I wear mine a little different um, because um, I do have some issues with my nails. Like this one has a tendency to curve down in the center. Um, when I'm just using polish, you know, the normal nails. This one has a, um, a split in it. So this is the longest I've had this nail in about a year. Um, what happened was I was using nail polish that was glitter and it was impossible to get off. And I think I damaged this nail by um, uh, filing it um, too much. So it seems to be very, very thin. Um, other than that, I would say that my nails are pretty normal. And I just wanted to show you what I was doing. Just give you a small little bonus uh, video. Um, something a little different. So. Let me tell you what I do. Um, these are super easy. Let me tell you what they are. They are nail strips. Okay, they're gel nail strips. Um, and they come in a couple different ways. They have them where you cure them with an um, UV lamp or, or not. Um, these do not require the UV lamp. These do. And um, I happen, happen to think I like the UV lamp because it hardens them a little bit more, so they're easy to wear. I'm not promoting anything. This is not a promoted in a, uh, video. I paid for everything with my own money. I do use a gel base coat and a top coat that needs to be LV cured. So I put on the base coat. Well, first off, you push your cuticles back and be sure you're... Um, 
uh, nails are super clean. Um, you use um, uh, alcohol wipe to um, be sure there's no oils. I do the um, base coat and then I put the um, strip on. You can pull them, you can situate them, you can pull them off, you can put them back on. I find them very easy to wear. Okay, I have a wider um, nail, so I have to stretch them a little bit. Then I put, um, then I cure this um, under the UV lamp real quick, like 30 seconds. And then um, I wipe them down again with alcohol. Then I put the strips on. Um, after I get the strips um, situated, I cure them again. Then I put on the top coat cure it again, wipe down with um, alcohol again, and um, that pretty well um, is how I do it. I am extremely happy with the wear of these. Um, are they perfect? No. However, they're better than the polish I was using because the polish, I am just, I don't know if I just don't have a steady hand or something, but I would get the polish all over, and then... The worst part was the part that um, I'd get them done, and then even before I um, uh, would do a video, I would have a nick or I would have a smudge, and then they just wouldn't look great. So I just wanted to show you what I was wearing, let you know how I was doing. These are really easy to take off. Um, you don't have to have it, but I did buy the O'Hara um, uh Pill remover, easy uh, pro easy pill remover. I bought that, and um, you don't have to have that. All you have to have is like a cuticle oil or any type of oil, and you lift up and put it under the around the edges, and it pops right off. It's amazing, and underneath my nails were in really really good condition. Um, I would say the same condition that wearing nail polish and taking it off would leave. So that's my experience with Dashing Diva and Ohara. If you would like um, to see more videos like this, um, just leave it in the comments. Um, I am a jewelry girl and there's I'm not going to change that. You know, um, I just wanted to show you because a couple people had mentioned my nails and I wanted to... Um, just tell you what they were. So I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. Thank you for joining me on this short little um, bonus video. Have a wonderful day and I will see you on the next one. Bye!